Yeah, okay, okay, okay. What's up, man? Good morning, guys. Um, <clears throat> today is another day, another trading day. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> this topic is going to be like, <clears throat> what do you see on your chart before you take your trade? Okay? Because a lot of people rely on a lot of things like taking signals. You know, but to me, taking signals is not wrong. You know, but when you don't know the type of signal you are taking, then I don't know the point of taking it. Okay, so the reason for this topic is to show you something on the on the chart. That what what do you see on your chart? before you even determine if that pair is going up or going down, you know, so that traders can can stop chasing candlesticks. I saw a guy a few days ago who told me that he's been taught a lot of things about pin bar, you know, then he saw a pin bar going up and he thought the trend is going up. He jumped in for that pin bar. But eventually, eventually, he went to sleep. But while he slept, the market had turned around and gone against him with two mighty big pin bars. So you see, and I asked a question. So, the pin bar is the only thing you see on your screen before you decide to take the trade or not. But you forget about the analysis aspect of it. Because to me, I feel millions of pin bar exist on the chart. Now, look at this thing is rally down. And then it's been rejected all over this zone here. This is rejection. We have the red line here, rejection. Okay, rejection. <coughs> so, rejection is something that tells you a message about the price is not able to continue that journey, that there may be a turnaround. That's why you see the rejection. So when you see a rejection, you know that this thing is rallied from up to down, right? And you started to see rejection. Then you want to put a red line there and say, okay, the price cannot go from here. Okay. Maybe you couldn't get it because you don't want to pull the early entry that is going to, you know, continue its way downward, you know, but you said, okay, let me keep watching it again, I don't want to jump in, let me watch, then you watch, you wait and wait and you watch and you started seeing the second rejection, okay, after seeing the second rejection, you put another red line, okay, what does that mean to you, it means that the first rejection, okay, will act as the previous bottom, in this case, and the new rejection is acting as the current bottom. In that case, you have, if you put a trend line just like this, it means you have a bottom that is climbing up. So. What does this mean? This, me this means this trend here, maybe a micro trend or mini trend to say, I don't know, but this trend here have changed from down planning its way to go up based on this rejection and the two bottom now climbing up. That is it. 
And if you are the type who use the stop loss, then you put your stop loss below the previous button here. And your entry right on the current rejection, which is here, which means you have risked a little bit of your account on this trade. Okay. When you place your entry now, you think about, okay, where is the exit? Because I've seen somebody also, he said, you, you know, this thing happens to a lot of traders, you know. When you, when you get the correct entry point, but still you don't know the exit based on the time frame you are placing. You don't know where to exit. Then the market comes back after giving you a lot of profit, came back and wipe you away, wipe you out in loss, okay, now, you look at, uh, looking at this chart, this is a one hour time frame, I look at this chart, I've seen the top of this chart, I've seen the bottom of this chart, now, I've seen where this leg rally down, so now it wants to go up. So definitely my target is going to be exactly where the Bollinger Band, I don't know, bend. Now, could be here. The first TP could be here because the Bollinger Band now bends from here. These big moves, this Bollinger Band bends from here. You can put a TP one here around this zone and the final tp could be you know look at look at look this left look your left you see look left if i can do this one you see the, the bollinger band bent from from that top over there you see the bend then your tp could be there then when you put your line from where the bollinger band bent that is where this big move started you put a line and where it's rejected you put a line you see in between the line you put here and here is your trading zone on your time frame I don't know which time frame you are using but that is your trading zone so inside the zone from this up to this bottom of rejection that is where your CP is going to be inside that zone. So, based on this trade of uh, GBP, JPY, currently, as I'm looking at it, from this rejection bottom here to this rejection top here, that is where we are going. Same example applies to the USDCHL that has been rejected from the bottom giving a current bottom and then making its way to the top where we got a rejection of the price so this is our zone from this bottom of rejection to this top of rejection is our trading zone so when we put any entry right here right now okay if you using stop loss could be at the previous and then your take profit level should be right inside this box anywhere inside this box so definitely you see what i'm saying that before you take a trade you do your analysis properly so you know the reason why you want to take that trade okay so you know the reason you 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 put the price in place imprison the price from the rejection of the bottom to the top yes you have put a cage or a barricade against the price so everything you see is that you put the price in the box and you watch in that box that yes that price is inside that box so definitely you know why you put that trade and you know that within few days uh you're gonna go get your tp we don't chase candle six there's no point in chasing candlesticks and there's no point in, in running up and down 
jumping from one signal to the other. When you don't even know the meaning of the signal you are taking and why you are taking it, then there's no point taking it. So definitely you should learn the way to analyze the market yourself. So even you take a signal where you can analyze the market, you know the time frame you have, you analyze the market and you take your trade with confidence. So this video can never be longer than this. So thank you very much and take care. Bye-bye.